Bowling Green now an Alabama Crimson Tide member. And a short kick and a fair catch taken by Alabama down at the 30 yard line. Nick Saban told on his leg, so we'll see how often Lane Kiffin puts it on the air early in this one. Bo Scarborough now in it running back. Hurts will keep this one on the right side. A blocker in front, paving the way down to the 20 yard line. A huge. You give up edge support. Boy, you're going to have your way offensively. Opening drive for Alabama. Hurts again. Another blocker out there. He's got the end zone. Touchdown, Jalen Hurts from 20 yards out. Tom, two really good blocks. The true freshman Trayvon Diggs, who just moved over to offense this this week, along with O.J. Howard. Watch the block there by Howard. I tell you what, I think you could run behind. <laughs> Kent State has a freshman quarterback, Miley Mitchell, out of the shotgun, and he will hand it off on first down to Justin Rankin. He's got a big gain to the outside. Rankin down the sideline. High stepping his way inside the 30. And a big play on first down for Kent State. Marlon Humphrey finally brought him down. Wide right. Opening drive comes to an end for Kent State. Injury, second and ten now. And they leave it on the ground for Joshua Jacobs. Jacobs going over the top of Nate Hawley. Gain of 16. Hurts wants it all. In zone, caught. Out of bounds at the one is Cam Sims on a beautiful strike that covers 31 yards. Player himself. Tenth play of the drive. Jacobs straight ahead and in. First rushing touchdown of the season for the freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, but what set it up was the play, the pass to Cam Sims down the sideline. All of a sudden you can turn it around, have the luxury of a good solid offensive line as it gets tremendous push up front. Howard shifts on the left side hurts out of the shotgun now play action again looking for Howard he was open early it's tipped and he still caught it. It's a late throw but still goes for 18 Jim Jones got his hands on it from his middle linebacker spot. I'm on second and four slow developing not for long Joshua Jacobs fighting his way through. Touchdown for the freshman from 24. He got him in the end zone, but he left his shoe in the field of play. What a talented player. Watch the blocking up front. Pulling the left guard, the tight end right there, sealing things off. And then now it's just one-on-one, -on -one, which is all you could ever ask for on a third level with a running back and a safety. And Jacobs losing the shoe. Right there, coming out of the shoe and still finding his way into the end zone. Here's Emmons on the touch, got blockers in front. He's got a first down and now he has a sideline. Hard hit from Nate Holly to force him out after 17. Played both baseball and football there. Second and 10. Toss to Bo Scarborough. Scarborough tripped up. Out there blocking for him. Here's Jacobs, another Alabama first down, and another big one run for Joshua Jacobs. Montez McCray in on the stop, along with Jim Jones for Kent State. 16 yards on that one for Jacobs. And Alabama perfect in the red zone. They take three there after going backwards. 24-0. Sidles in, gets right up next to me as Kent State runs a reverse here with Kavion Price. A lot of running, and he lost the football. Picked up by Alabama. That was going nowhere. Then he coughed it up, and he puts it right in the Tide's hands. Yards, the next 20, they've netted just 69 yards. Griffith's got the leg, and he's got nice. the accuracy. Second field goal today for Adam Griffith. Ruben Foster's a quarterback of that Alabama defense. Low snap. Pressured by Mika Fitzpatrick and Malik Mitchell thrown for a loss. They'll give him forward progress at the 21. It's a loss of eight. Last year starting every game in route to a national championship. Pressured again. And another sack. It was started by Ruben Foster, cleaned up by Ryan Anderson. Barnett. Gets turned around again and finally dumps it off and finds Joshua Jacobs. 
answer to that was uh, no. I got one B. Over the middle complete. Here's Howard. Touchdown, Alabama, 34 yards. Same exact play that was tipped earlier in the game. It was going left to right earlier. They flipped the formation. Does Lane Kiffin. He brings Howard from left to right this time. You see the middle of the field open. It was a line shot. This one's got a little air under it. Tell you what, nice job of throwing leading. The receiver open at the top here. Mitchell pressured. He's sacked again. Mika Fitzpatrick had some help from Tim Williams. Getting ready to hit the quarterback as well, about the same time that uh, Fitzpatrick hit him. Xavier Marks from the 25. Nice vision. Marks to the 40. Looking for a block. He's got it. He's got help. Xavier Marks got to beat the putter. He beat the putter. Touchdown, Alabama. 75 yard return. Watch the block set up and just the ability to stop and start, cut, jump start, or jump stop, and then it's a, a foot race. And you know, it's over once the punter misses. Just speed. You know, for a tackler, Derek Adams is a great punter. A little ole. He didn't even touch him. Just a little cut right there at the end, and I don't know that he got a hand on it. B.J. Emmons is the tailback. Oh, play action. Hurts fires. Caught after a bobble and a touchdown from one yard out on a pass from Jalen Hurts to Mac Wilson. They're finding offensive players all over the place. Nice job with the play fake, selling it. Nice calm movement to where it holds the defense. They don't know who has the ball. They've been throwing a little bit more in front, but they also have a player there and Nick Cuthbert. Haynes told us this week defense wins championships. Can his offense score? Five wide. Bowl is flushed. Turns it upfield. He is in. Touchdown, Kent State on the sophomore scramble. Well, that's some turnover on downs. That one looks like the ball has not broken the plane. But to your point, Andre, the question is, how clear can you be that the knee was down at that point? After further review, the runner was down short of the goal line. The ball will go over on downs. It will be Alabama's ball, first and 10. And so therefore, the shutout remains intact. Take six off the board for Kent State. Today against Nick Saban's alma mater, 2-0 now against Kent State. And for the Crimson Tide, they continue an impressive run. Nobody has more wins in consecutive order against unranked teams than Alabama's 62. It's a 16-game win streak for Nick Saban and the defending national champions, a home win against Kent State. We've got more coming away from Tuscaloosa following Bama's 48-0 win over Kent State.